let's see how macro view dmf365 facilitates the filing of attachments to incoming emails and the retrieval of documents from sharepoint to be attachments to outgoing emails this email in our inbox contains an attachment which is a word document we note that the name of the attachment contains characters that are illegal in sharepoint file names we can drag and drop to save that attachment to our macro view sample library we note that the illegal characters have automatically been removed from the file name that's going to be used in SharePoint. We also note that the default content type for the destination library has automatically been selected and that there are no metadata items that we need to respond to. However, the details tab shows that a number of metadata items are automatically being recorded, including the original unstripped file name. Our attachment is now filed in SharePoint. If we click the library and sort by modified date, the most recently modified document is our newly saved Word document attachment. Here's a formatted preview. If we right click again, we can see the details tab and that automatically recorded original file name. Here's another mail from Michael in our inbox and it contains another attachment with a slightly different file name. Let's open our email and save attachments and choose the macro view sample library. If we want, we can click on an existing file name, which will cause the incoming file name to be made the same, so that we are prompted to create a new version of that existing document in our SharePoint online document store. Let's capture a comment for our new version and click OK. Our second incoming attachment is now being saved as a new version of the existing document. We can right click our document and choose version history to see the versions that we've created, both the original and the new version. Next, let's right click our document and send as an outgoing file. We could also send it as a link or a PDF. Here's our new email. We note that the original name of the attachment has been reinstated. We can also insert attachments by using the insert attachment button. Now, in addition to browsing, we can use favorites, recent, or search to locate the document that we wish to insert.